it's no surprise that you're my favorite character in this uh, show, but not everybody feels that way about Chip. So talk to us a little bit about um, what we're unveiling with Chip, finding out more about who he is and what he wants in life. Yeah, the, the season two journey for Chip is a real nuanced one. You know, I think this is a, a white man who has lost his position of power and he is struggling with who he wants to be and what he wants to do. Um, and while I think Chip uh, didn't commit a lot of the atrocities that we saw in season one, he was certainly privy to those things. And and I think there are a lot of people around him that are not really willing to let him off the hook for that just yet. Um, and so he's really confused. Does he want to just leave this life behind him and go live a a quiet life in upstate New York at a, a local television station and, and get a nice girlfriend who doesn't emotionally abuse him all day long like Alex does, you know? It sounds good on paper, but part of him feels pulled back to this world. Um, I think some of that has to do with his workaholism, um, but I think a large part of it is about the unresolved relationship he has with Alex. Um, and that was really one of the most fun things to to explore in season two. We're in season two, so you've worked with Reese and Jen closely before, but does that ever really get old that Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon are your co-stars and your executive nope. producers? Never gets old, always surreal. And I'm not just saying that. I mean, these are these are people that I grew up watching on on television and and looking up to and you know, having crushes on and not just them, Billy Crudup in in almost famous. I mean, come on, I was obsessed with him. Um, huge crush there. Um, Absolutely. so, so yeah, it's, it's pretty surreal. Um, and you know, I was so happy to see that the writers sort of chose to lean into this chip and Alex dynamic a little more for season two. It's, it's something Jen and I both love doing. We love our two person scenes together. We love getting the scripts and talking about them and improvising a little bit here and injecting humor here and there and, and just, uh, you know, I just love, I just love acting with her. She's, you couldn't ask for a better scene partner. But ever feel a little bit cathartic sometimes when you're really going at it with Jen and some of those two person scenes? You know, honestly, we had a couple of moments this season where we, we would have to kind of like hug after we yell cut because of some of the horrific things we were saying to each other it just felt awful. Um, so we're not in the place in our relationship where we, where we're like, cathartically needed to get that stuff out, you know, because we're, we're, we're homies. Um, but I, I will say this, like, there's something wonderful about um, getting to know someone like I've gotten to know Jen over the last two years and, and experiencing um, that, that intimacy that we share as friends, and how much we like each other as friends, infusing that into sort of the existing toxic dynamic between Chip and Alex is I think what makes that relationship interesting. It turns it from just something nasty into more of a, a nuanced love-hate thing. Now you guys tackle COVID this season. What was it like doing a storyline about COVID while still living it in real time? Uh, it was confusing. You know, I think we got shut down early on in shooting because of COVID. They, the writers decided to incorporate it and bring it back. I think we were all feeling a little nervous quite honestly, to come back to set, not only from a health perspective, but from a, can we be loose and creative in an environment where we are worried about our health? You know, luckily we had really robust health protocols and all that felt safe. Um, but, you know, we'd never done that before. Um, one thing I did really appreciate that the writers did is the way they incorporate the COVID storyline is, is you kind of, almost like a horror film, you sort of watch it creeping in slowly from the sidelines and the audience is put in the perspective of they know what's happening but the characters don't know it so they're watching it like a scary movie like you know god don't put your hand to your face you don't, don't you know what's happening you know and and i thought that was a clever way to go about it that sharing of the water bottles like stop it yes yeah, so anyway. don't do it yeah <laughs> my goodness thank you so much for your time mark congratulations on this season <laughs> nice to see you kate